On an island in the middle of a prehistoric sea, there is a story from a dim and ancient time, a time before a church or mosque or temple graced the earth, a time pristine and primeval. A woman walked the fields with a baby on her hip, a giantess of such enormous strength, eating nothing but broad beans from her pocket all the time. She worked her fields in seclusion. To make herself a seat, a place to rest beneath the sun, she carried massive stone upon her head, eating no thing but broad beans from her pocket all the time. She must be mad or demented. Taunted by the people for her oddness and her size, the giant took her baby to the caves. He learned her fear of the people. She called him Fulu, Little Bean, and she taught him how to sing. He learned her fear of the people. Little Fulu grew up playing with his stone blocks all alone. His mother passed away, yet he stayed on. He's heard the songs of earth and magic from the echoes in the stone. He feels the sound in his body. I feel the sound in my body. I feel the sound in my bones. The music of the wind in the stones. The slapping of the waters below. The bees, the birds, the music in the stone. I learned it as a little boy alone. It's all I've ever known. I feel the music, and I sing to the walls of the caves. The earth sings back to me. The stones play with my voice, and I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my body. I feel it in my bones. Watching, singing, testing, and imagining. It tells me things, this wondrous sound of stone. The people are wary. They stay away from fear. The giant voice is singing in the caves. The babe has surely grown enormously and horrible to see. We fear of disturbing the giant. I must not disturb the great giant. Yet the voice that I hear is strange and moving, not like any song that I have heard before. How marvelous the voice of a giant. I'll just sneak a little closer and hear more. All my life, my toys have been the stones. Dreaming them big, I see an image in my mind. And I build it with toy stones. I know, I know. Somehow I know it comes into my head, this mad idea. A perfect cave, a holy cave, a holy shrine of echo and of memory and light, and the voice of the earth, the mother of the stone. A perfect shrine to the mother of the stone. If I were a giant, I could make this. I know that I could make this. Well, this is not a thing that I can do alone. Tiffle, you foolish boy! It is madness to go near him. Well, this is not a thing that I can do alone. What a marvelous plan! What a marvelous man! He is not a giant or a beast. He's not a madman at all. What a marvelous plan. How I ache to seek the help of the people. I long to beg their help to make this thing. But I am not one of them. I wouldn't know where to begin. I lack the courage to begin. Mother in the stone, tell me, tell me. Help me find the courage to begin.
Fool, you foolish boy! It is madness to go near them. My mother's voice in the stone. What a marvelous plan! What a marvelous man! What a marvelous plan! I know, I know, somehow I know. It comes into my head this mad idea. A perfect cave, a holy cave, a holy shrine of echo and of memory and light. The mother of the stone, the mother of the stone, the earth herself, the stone. Move the stone, move the stone. If I were a giant, I could make this. I know that I could make this. If only I could move them. This is not a thing that I can do alone. How I ache to go to them. I long to make this thing. Fulu, Fulu, they must help you. I will ask and they will help you. You are the giant of the cave, and they must hear you. They must see this marvelous plan. The music of the wind in the stones, the slapping of the waters below, the bees, the birds, the music of the stone. I learned it as a little boy alone. Watching, singing, testing, and imagining. It tells me things, this wondrous sound of stone. Hand by hand, bone by bone, foot by foot, move hand the stone. By hand, bone by bone, foot hand by hand, foot, hand bone move by the bone, stone. foot by foot, <gasps> move the stone. <gasps> Move the stone, move the stone. <gasps> His mother was a giant. Fulu is a giant. Fulu is a giant in his mind. What a marvelous plan! What a marvelous man! His mother was a giant. Fulu is a giant. Fulu is a giant in his mind. We welcome you among us. Come and live among the people. We will honor you and bless you for all time. The music of the wind in the stones, the slapping of the waters below, the bees, the birds, the music in the stone. I learned it as a little boy alone. It's all I've ever known.